This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is sponsored by Crawford & Company. Register now for their annual CatCon conference February 19th through the 23rd in Allen, Texas at crawco.com slash cat. And by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. And by Adjuster TV Plus. Get unlimited access to a growing library of the best adjuster training videos created by the most trusted name in claims, Adjuster TV at adjustertvplus.com. I went to my first conference, so it's definitely overwhelming and uh, you're getting a lot of information and, you know, yeah, um, yeah. It's, it's fun, but it's, yeah, you're like all the things you've learned and then you're putting them in conversation and yeah, it's, it's, yep, it's pretty cool, yep. but it wasn't specifically for, you know, networking for other, for adjusters, but um, definitely a lot of those conversations and then, you know, people telling you, well, this is the best place to start. And then we go, why? My family started here and they're the best, you know? And so it's really right, right, fun. right. I would yeah. say any place is a great place to start. And if it's, if you get into a situation where it was a bad, it seemed like it was a bad choice. Well, then, you know, one place that when they call, you don't answer their, their call. Right. Yeah. So, you know, once you get claims in hand and once you start working and like interacting and seeing like the, the, the process of a deployment from start to finish, then it's like a huge leap forward in your knowledge and your, you know, because then when you go to a conference, which I suggest everybody goes always, um, then when you go to the conference, you can talk to people uh, a lot more about, you know, oh my God, I had this one. Let me tell you about this one. The dog came out and he ran around and he bit, bit, bit my ankle and look at the scar here. and da, da, da. Oh, that's crazy. I got one here from a dog. And um, <laughs> you can kind of have like, you could build a little bit more rapport. It's easier to build rapport when you already when you know how to like sort of walk the walk a little bit. Um, but so as a, as a, as a new person, you, like I said, you want to spread that wide net and try to take as many opportunities as, as makes sense for your lifestyle, I guess, and having, having kids, um, as you gain experience and you'll start to kind of find that you're, you're developing a relationship with one or two firms where the people that you talk to are, you really, you hit it off with them. Um, and they they know that they can count on you. So they're always calling you. Um, and that's, that's kind of the key thing is to do as good, a, as good a job as possible so that they remember you and they want to try to keep you busy. Um, I think for, for, if you're doing cat work, or if you're doing remote work, right. If they're sending you like equipment and you're using their gear, even, or even if you're using your own laptop, um, you're probably going to work for one firm at a time anyway. And if you get on like as a, as a full time, like, you know, you're doing 10 hour days, six days a week or whatever it is, however they want to do it. Um, you're not going to be work, work, working with f five firms. And they're probably, I think a lot of times you'll find that you, when you get on assignment like that, that, they may, they may start you off saying, well, you know, it's just probably going to last two weeks, da, 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 da. You know, 18 months later, you're still doing the same thing, right? It's, yeah. it's kind of one of those things where they, they, they just keep needing you or they're like, they, they, they get some kind of workload that comes in and they're like, what do we do with it? Uh, give it to Carrie, right? And then you're just, you kept busy for as, really as long as you want to be. Um, so this, the salary thing, I don't know, uh, are there IA firms that are offering salaries or is it like an hourly paid on a? Well, yeah, I was going to kind of tell you, you know, I guess, I don't know if it'd be like off record, what, you know, what, where, what I'm kind of facing as my, um, or for my options, but yeah. Um, after having gone, I went to the PLRB conference and, yeah. um, and I had, you know, I got connected with like, for example, with, um, one of the guys at Crawford and he, I don't know, his, his cards, you know, VP managing director, you know, and he yeah. I talked to him good time. And it was interesting because I, I went up to the Hague education booth and I was, you know, just thank them for how great their class has been, you know, and, and then the woman walked over and was like, we you need to talk to this guy at Crawford and had him walk over to me. I mean, they were yeah. just so kind and so helpful um, and then, you know, I followed up with him when I got home and wrote him an email to thank him. And, um, he connected me with, you know, one of the, you know, um, 
Houston, you know, folks who, who said, you know, we, he, they have an open position for Houston and um, we're still trying to hear back from, from them and, you know, what, what that option is. But in the meantime, I started the process through their systems and, um, and then started a process, you know, and so I, I'm kind of filling out all that stuff so I can be ready to go with wherever I end up. Um, same thing with pilot, same thing with, um, you know, CNC, I passed, took my state farm, just got that certification going. Um, however, I had a, a friend of mine who, you know, they, they have an insurance company in New Orleans and they said, you know, we have, I know this adjusting group, um, but they, you know, when I talked to them, I, I did an interview with these, these guys with this one group and they outsource adjusters. So they're, uh, I thought they're adjusting firm, but they actually outsource to a, a firm for their adjusters and then they get the claims. And so I'd be a claim examiner for what has already been done. You right. know? And so, um, and then their, their higher <laughs> up group does like, you know, the underwriting. So they do, they or underwriters for Paul, you know, and so then this group is kind of the adjusting group and then they source out adjusters. So I'm like, <laughs> I didn't know there was another in between, you know, and right. um, if I can get into that group and that would be a, a full-time salary, health benefits and everything position. Um, then, you know, once you're in a kind of a company, like I could go in in several different areas and I wouldn't just be examining catastrophe, you know, I could be examining, all kinds of things, you know, all kinds sure. of the things that I learned getting my all lines license, which sounded appealing to me. So, you know, here I am, I'm like, okay, I've got this full-time potential option. I mean, I don't know, I have two more interviews, but, and then I have these, you know, cat desk adjuster position here at Crawford. I have an inside um, auto and claims pilot I've put in for, I've got, you know, we've got Sedgwick that, you um, mm -hmm kind of going. And then I've got, you know, some smaller ones, you know, I've got brush country I talked to and pace setter I've talked to and Littleton I've talked to, you know, they've got, I've got a meeting, you know, for a Houston contact with them, you know, and then pace setter, I think they had a Houston. So trying to, I'm really honing in on the city, my city stuff. Cause that seems for me to go to mobile for two to, you know, maybe four weeks, and then get sent home and then something doesn't happen. And so I think I'm just kind of doing my city focus first, but not putting all my eggs in one basket. And then sure. I have this salary thing where I could work year round all remote, you know, and, um, and then just give it that year um, to really learn. And then next year I can be pickier on, you know, or yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm already, I'm already feeling picky. But I'm just saying, like, I can kind of figure out where I want to move into. And that's I've loved learning about this industry because there's so much you can go to in, with insurance. And I mean, yeah. I loved learning about farm and crop, but I, don't, I just I assumed a lot. I assume that that only goes to people who've been in this for a long time and the veterans. I assume that I could never do dailies because that goes to the veterans. I assume that, you know, I can't, you know, I should start an auto and before I can even do property, because nobody's going to take me, I assume that I can't do commercial right away. It's just, that's for all the people who've been in the industry too long. And so, so many people have reassured me like, no, you can, you know, keep networking, keep talking to people. There are ways to get into where you want to go, but there, there is obviously a path if you can't figure that out too. And so, um, so yeah, I've, I've kind of learned that a lot of those you know, you can't assume too much because it's very malleable in this industry. And so, yeah. um, yeah, I'm just kind of currently, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm getting all of everything signed and the, I, you know, the T's cross I's dotted. And then from there, we'll see whenever something hits, I'll just like y'all say, just say yes to that first, that first one, I guess, you know? So, yeah. yeah. But no, yeah, like it's exciting. I'm excited. See where it goes. <laughs> Adjuster TV. 60% of the time, it works every time.